Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are on this journey to love. And so this video is a conversation with the divine counterparts to find out what is going on and just to have a chat with them. So um, the questions that I asked are, oh, and if you want one of these readings for yourself, you can pick eight questions and I will... Uh, or you can let me intuit the questions. You can do it either way. So I'm doing packages at the moment. Uh, if you buy two, you get three. So you can have a healing, a reading like this, and an energy read. And it works out to be £22 each. Okay, so the message is this. Uh, so the conversation that I asked, these are the questions. It was, what message do you want to give us today? And this is the ghost. So do you feel like you've been ghosted? <laughs> well, don't worry, because if you have, this is the true message that lies within. So how are you feeling about us and our union? So how are they feeling? And this is amazing because this is the, basically the moonlight, which is number six. If you follow my video this morning, the letter that they wanted to um, come through was number six from these divine love letter books that I do which are all channeled messages from your twins so again that is perfect synchronicity <clears throat> and this is about basically telepathy intuition the, t the bond between you both is very strong in terms of the telepathic connection that you have so how are you feeling in yourself and this is so lovely because this is the commitment card so it is, it's basically saying that they are committed to themselves and committed to following their highest path and therefore their commitment is to you ultimately. So what is the eclipse season going to do for us? And this is about a real time to, you know, I know that on this journey everyone always says it's about going within and really following your own truth and really trusting in your own tu intuition. But to, to be honest, across this time, it's very, very important to, to do exactly that, to spend time on your own, to let go of things from the past, to really believe that you are on this journey for a reason and for a purpose. And so it is very much about going into meditation, um, working with the moon cycle, letting go of energies that we no longer need, setting intent for, to follow your rainbow path. <clears throat> so what do you need me to do to help our union and this is to keep following your intuition to keep knowing that your intuition is both of your souls together and it may not seem like it you're going completely blindfolded into the unknown but that is happening for a reason because it's pushing you to believe more and more and more in your inner ding in and your inner ding is basically your twin and your twin soul guiding each other home because you've made a contract to come together in this life so what do you need to do to what do i need to do to help me on my rainbow path so this is like what do you need to focus on and this is saying it's about taking a chill pill relaxing and just knowing that slow and steady wins the race and everything that you're doing is helping, helping, helping you on your journey. So it's about releasing control, releasing expectation, and just knowing that slow and steady wins the race. So what does the universe want you to know about your union? <clears throat> this couldn't be better because it is the flying card. So it's basically saying your, your union is, and it's also number two, which is, again, union. So it's basically say, learn to fly, spread your wings, right? Through spreading your wings, you follow your rainbow path. Underneath there is this whole maze, right? So it's about seeing beyond the illusion of the maze of the physical realm and flying high with your spirit, right? Trusting in, in your intuition, following your rainbow. So what does the universe want us to focus on for our reunion and this is the encouragement card which could not be better it is so lovely because basically this is a little nudge from the universe to say it's okay keep on going we're with you um, and that is so lovely because also the mirroring there is both number nine 
And this is what the twi your twin got about how you feeling in yourself was also number nine. Committed, right? Committed to make... This is a soul commitment for themselves, right? A soul commitment to their higher self. So what message do you want to give us today? And it is number 17, which is ghost lands, which I think is... <clears throat> when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's so funny. Because I'm sure lots of people feel totally ghosted by their twin, haven't heard from them, don't respond, all of those things. And so the message is, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing, for rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there, yet you can take measured steps toward a goal or a dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present. The now is the most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction, further than the heart and the soul can see. So, they're saying, live with me here in the now. Live in the heart, because that's where I am. That is the, your, that is the way to get to your rainbow path and, to, and the way to make our union come together in the fastest timeline. So, how are they feeling? And it is, your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, the logical and analytical. So they have been pushed to follow their intuition. Also note, this is number six. And the letter that we had this morning, in this morning's video, if you watch that video, it was number six. So, moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. So resist second-guessing yourself, for your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch or a tingling, a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. So, they are following their intuition, right? They're listening to the signs. They're seeing the signs. They're understanding that the connection is something out of this world. It's written in the stars. So, how are you feeling? How are they feeling about themselves? And I love this because... A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, body, mind and soul, and this is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. Right, so that is pretty much the best card that you could get because what that's saying is that they are committing to their higher self. And of course they're committing to their higher self and their and their soul path and of course that is to you that's why they're saying it it basically um commits you to a higher purpose with another and so that's why the pinky promise hand and the interlinking hands here is also so lovely with the rose petals so again beautiful um and then what is the eclipse season going to do what do we need to know about the eclipse season and it is it's time to go within it's time to focus on you, on solitude. So if you feel like you've been ghosted, don't worry, it's okay. 
I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. So the eclipse season is all about rest and solitude and meditation. So what do you need me to do to help our union? And it is number seven and it is trust and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times you're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you will be safe. Stay aware, stay aware as you discover new and marvellous territories and valuable treasures. Oh, the treasures. That is very significant that it mentions about treasures because I will tell you why at the end of this reading. Okay, so number, a big sink, basically. Um, and the next one, what do you need to do to focus on your um, rainbow, basically? So, slow and steady wins the race. Remember the old cliche that slow and steady wins the race. This is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater success to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life, so savour them. So, big message here about just relax. It's okay. Go in, meditate. Just look after yourself and just trust. Because what does the universe want you to know about your union? And it is flying. Which is, again, this is so lovely because this is, again, you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you saw above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off, and the things you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. Oh. And your twin is your earthly guardian angel. So 